Alright guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's a bit of a different one today. Um, I thought I'd treat my car to some love. So as you can probably see right now, um, the car is very, very filthy. It is disgusting. I've probably not cleaned it properly for the last oh, 5,000 miles or something like that. It's It's been bogging. It's not been waxed. It's not been polished for a while. Um, and I thought today would be a great day to do it because the weather's great. Um, it's not due to rain for another three, four, five hours or something like that. So I thought, well, well, the best way to do it is to go and clean it. So I'm not a detailer. I'm gonna put that straight out there. I'm not a professional detailer. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a novice. I do know what I'm, I'm, I'm sort of doing. <laughs> I'd like to think. Um, but I'm doing it as like, if you're at home and you've got your own equipment, I've not got things like machine polishers or like professional grade polish and wax and stuff i'm just using the sort of bare bones basics that we have in terms of tools i've got a karcher k2 that's just a generic sort of home brand jet washer that i've got um i've also bought a variety of different like some cloths and stuff so i can get the, the polishing right i'll also be using and you're gonna hate me for it i'm using washing up liquid so the reason I'm using washing up liquid is it's a great way to degrease your car and try and get all the bits off. Details are probably gonna be kicking off in the comments going, oh, well you can't do that because it's bad for the paint, it's bad for the car. Well, to be fair, I'm already gonna polish it. So I'm gonna remove any sort of scratches and contaminants in the paint. And then I'm gonna seal it with wax. So there's there's not much there's not much uh, of a crime there. Um, and if you know Chris Fix, he does recommend it as well. So I'm gonna start off with that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Also Gleam Wash and Wax. Um, it's very, very good stuff. Me and my dad have been using it for a number of years now. We still think it's better than what else is out there in our mind. Um, and we'll also be, I'll also be drying it all down with wash levers. Again, it's not the choice of everybody, but I prefer it. It's good and easy. And then what I'll do then is I'll probably go over it with a towel to make sure I've got all the water off before I start my polishing process. So what you'll see now is some footage of me cleaning the car. I'll go through the different stages of how I'm going to do it. Um, and yeah, so hope you enjoy the video. Whilst the car soaks with the washing liquid into it, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill up my buckets. Um, so I've just got two buckets. I tend to use the two bucket technique. So I've got this one black bucket here. I've also got this green one. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any grit guards. Sue me, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be polishing it anyway. I'm gonna put some wax on it, so it's all gonna be nice and clean. Once I've washed... <laughs> So I mentioned before, I'm using this Auto Gleam shampoo and conditioner. It's usually pretty decent. When I used to work on, when I used to work at a coach company, we uh, the, dry, the cleaners would always use this stuff uh, they, and they used to say it was brilliant. So we've used it ever since. Um, and it's been really good. It makes a really good shine. Hopefully that plus the polish plus the wax, it should make it look chef's kiss. Just 
really need someone I've been barely holding on And I'm still running from my demons I'm still hiding all my secrets And I just So you get you meant to use this on before. I only just remembered because I'm an idiot and it's hot. Maybe even too hot. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on the wheels. Um, usually what I'll tend to do is I'll use the green bucket. Um, it's uh, sort of dirty water, but it's not too bad. Anyway, but so there we go. Christ. No. I thought it would be lightly sunny and not baking hot, but it turns out it's about 20 degrees. So I'm currently burning right now, which is fantastic. But at least one thing, it dries quicker. However, whilst I'm filling up the bucket, um, which I'm about to do now, the soap's already dried in. So I've got to quickly wash it and then quickly wipe it all down. So to do that, what I've got now is I've got wash levers. Now, people are gonna hate me in the chat because these can cause scratches. However, like I've already previously mentioned, I'm polishing it anyway, and I've got some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, so that should really do the job. And to be fair, for a car that's, what? What year is it now? Seven years old now? Um, it should be fine, it should be, it should be fine. You're always gonna get some sort of um, markings. I know it's currently already scratched anyway because a while ago, I thought I could be clever and do some clay barring because YouTuber detailers make it so easy. But it turns out I did it wrong and my bonnet is completely and also scratched as well as my roof. So it's been even done for a while. Uh, I've tried auto gluing products in the past and never seemed to get it out. So I'm hoping the Meguiar's products get it out. Um, so we'll see what the finished results say. If there is still some scratches, I'm not gonna complain too much. My alloys are already smashed to, to pieces. I've curbed the left hand side. Yes, I know, poor driving on my part. However, the other side, which I've not curbed, is just corrosion over the years and getting hit by grit and salt and all sorts on the road. So, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> down so all the suds are now off now it's the, the the fun part of trying to dry it whilst it's sunny so i'll skip this part because my phone's about to die um but i'll check in once i get more charge and it's all dried off hey so the car is now all dried off um my only concern is that there is now a big giant cloud coming which may look like a ring clone by the looks of it but we'll see how we go um so what i'm going to do now is if i so whilst the cloud does its thing and I figure out whether it's gonna rain or not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the car with some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I've read some very good reviews on this. I'll just zoom out a little bit, there we go. Um, yes, yeah, so I've read some very good reviews on this. It's supposed to get out a lot of scratches. So it's probably not gonna work as well because I've not got a machine polisher. Um, I do keep meaning to invest in one, but I'm sort of currently in the process of buying a house, so I'm a bit skint. Um, so we'll we'll make do. What I've got though is I've got some nice uh, four pack microfiber fiber tea towels for two pound fifty from the one and only B and M. So we've got those. Probably probably use those to buff the buff it off. I've also got these clean as a whistle five ribbed dishcloths, strong and absorbent what she said um these are only a quid usually what i do is i try and use that stock in it stuff that's usually pretty decent um to be fair all i need is a cheap cloth to put the the compound on and also put wax on and then the tea towels can be used to 
stuff off the car. I've also got other proper like microfiber cleaning cloths as well. So we'll try and get the polish on before it rains. If it is about to start to rain, I've got to move two cars out of the way or yeah, both of these cars out the way. Um, my mum's SLK and uh, 1995 Ford Fiesta. So it's going off topic, but this is a 1995 Ford Fiesta. We bought it for about 500 pounds because my brother needed some transport. And this was the cheapest thing that we could find at the time. And the good thing about it, when we picked it up, I think it was only 30,000 miles. So I'll see if I can get a video on this. Um, it's currently under my parents' endurance, but um, I'll try my best. Maybe I'll do a video in future with it. So on to the polishing. on the car um bear in mind this is the first time i'm trying this so uh, we'll see how it goes um but yeah it's taken me could maybe five minutes or so to do this one panel so what i'm gonna do is i'll do the entire car um this is some terrible angle um but i'll check back in and we'll see what the finished results are so i managed to get all the polish on it today um it's taken a while the weather has been a bit mixed so it was dark it was a bit cloudy and that was quite nice because it gave me a bit of a break from the blinding heat um but now it's all out again and yeah there is a small cloud coming but we shall see what happens but yeah good progress it's all over the car and um, i didn't do the windows because i don't think you're really meant to do them on the windows but uh, reef wise was the first one to do so we'll see what ha that shows up yeah so so far i've got the polish off the roof which was the first panel that i did um it's very shiny from a distance um however if you can see that that's pretty much all the damage from when i poorly clay barred it and it still got off obviously it probably come out better if i had a machine polisher with abrasive pads so maybe that'd be something that i'd have to look at in future but god it's awful in it but i suppose that's what happens when you test things i suppose as long as it, it's good that it was on my own car rather than someone else's but yeah so i'll continue doing the job yeah so with that let's get on with the rest of the polishing in this 20 odd degree heat fantastic Right, so it's finally done. Um, I finally polished it all. Part of me is thinking, do I bother waxing it? Because I've been at this pretty much all day, but I'm thinking I'm gonna have to because the weather is gonna come out and it's gonna chuck it down. So it's the best way. Um, few things I do like, it's made it a lot more shinier, which you can see on camera. There is still my scratches that I've got from uh, the, the poor clay bar in which I did before. The reef is showing it, the bonnet is showing it. Uh, they were the two items that I did. The sides are, are okay. They were just sort of like light swirl marks from when I've been washing it over time or if I've taken to a car wash or something like that. So um, they've sort of, most of them com have come out. There's still going to be the odd few. I've noticed that it probably needs a bit of a um, detouring, but apart from that, it should be, should be relatively okay. So. I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there. Um, I do need to, obviously I've got to wax it and then I've also got to do my black trims and the black trims on this are a nightmare. So, so yeah. So if you've got a mini um, and you have this problem where your black trim it fades away, it is a common issue on these things. It's also a bit of a nightmare to sort. 
Um, the best thing you should try and get is, in my mind, is this. It's High Performance Tire Job by Autoglum. Obviously, it's for your tires, but it's very durable. It lasts a long time. Um, typically, what I do is I tend to put it on a sponge, um, just because it soaks it up a lot better and you can go around the edges and stuff. And then if I, the little tiny bits at the top, if I turn around these here, these parts are very small. Um, so those parts are very small. What you want to do is you want to go over them with like a little little cloth if you've got one, um, as well as the sort of like jostering under the, in underneath the uh, windscreen. So, so yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll carry on with what I need to do, um, and I'll come back later on. So one of the things that I use when I'm trying to get rid of the black the greyness and the black trim and um, because this is a common problem with minis is I use this thing called Autoglim high performance tire gel and obviously it is a tire gel but I find that it's very good for when it comes to these trims it's very durable and um, it is just essentially a gel but if I put some on a pad on this uh, sponge what I'll do now is if you you can see here is obviously there's a bit of wax that I've got onto the onto the trim. But if I wipe this on, there we are. So I may have got some on the paintwork. It does eventually come off. Um, the more you wash your car, um, obviously the wax is on top of it as well, so it's not going to damage the paintwork that badly. Um, I shouldn't at all. But yeah, and um, what I'll do now is I'll finish the rest of the trim off, then I'll do the tyres, and then we should be good to go. Also, excuse, excuse the curb wheels. Right, so that's all the outside done. What I've done is I've obviously washed it all down, you saw me polish it. In the meantime, I did actually give in, I did wax the car as well, so that's why it's all very shiny. There is still a few marks from where the wax is, where I've not been able to fully get it off, but that's obviously going to happen, and it will come off over time, um, the more I drive the car. But what I've done is all the black trim is all, and including the tyres, are all nice and black now. As well as all these little intricate parts where it's like in the gutter, around the mirrors, and all down the seals as well, and including the aerial as well. So that's a little bit about what I've done with the car. Am I going to do the inside of it? Probably another day, I'll be honest. It's been a long day. I started at, what was it, two, it's now quarter to seven. So I've been going at it for, well, near enough about five hours, let's say. So, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, any of the products I've used, I'll try and get them in the video. But for now, let me just close out with a bit of a sort of cinematic B-roll piece. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, be sure to tune in for any more that I release. There will be obviously some more. Hopefully I can get more on this Ford Fiesta because absolute, absolute kill. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, please do follow me um, on my Instagram. It's at Josh and Cars. I've also got a TikTok as well. That's the same same handle, at Josh and Cars as well. Um, yeah, please do subscribe for if you want to see any more content. Please drop this video a like as well. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good day. See you later.